Hi everybody, this is Tao at MC Square, University of Michigan. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to image light elements with the IDPC integrated differential phase contrast imaging. So I already have my sample aligned to the zone axis. My beam uh, looks good. As you can see, I can I can get a um, very nice high resolution hard diff images. So this image quality is good. To use the IDPC, we can stop the live scan for now and go to here and turn on this DPC switch. And now you see um, basically six uh, live scans. So DPC uh, quadrant A, B, C, D, and uh, you have this one is for IDPC, this one is for DDPC. Here you can change this scan to DPC and HDF. So So now we can also get hard if signals. To use IDBC, there are a couple steps that we have to do uh, before we can take images. So we come to here and uh, check this show pattern position. And now um, on this detector layout, we have now a cross. So this cross indicates the beam positions. So let's start live view. Uh, now we don't have any signals on these DPC detectors because we have our screen inserted and the DPC detectors are underneath the screen. So we don't get signals yet. But now let's check this cross and make sure this cross is right at the center of the DPC detectors. And sometimes um, you see it's slightly off-centered so you have to fine-tune the gain of the detector so you come to here and make sure the offset is set to a hundred percent you can adjust the gain a little bit and you see the cross moves position just a little bit so you can fine-tune the gain to make sure that the cross is uh, at the center of the detector so now we can retract the screen by clicking R1 button. So now we have the beam on the DPC detectors and we see the cross is uh, shifted off the center. That means our beam is uh, not aligned to the detector yet. So we'll have to align the beam to the detector by going to alignment direct alignment, diffraction alignment, turn it on and uh, go back to here we change the beam positions while uh, looking at the cross so with the multifunction x, y knob we can adjust the cross back to the center of the uh, detector so now we can start DPC imaging and uh, the rest of the operation are actually pretty straightforward. So we can open a uh, reduced area window and now fine tune the focus. So here now we can see the IDPC signal shows very sharp uh, high resolution images. That means our focus is good. We can start taking images.
these are the images we've just obtained. This is the hard disk, and uh, we see the atomic columns. They are um, gallium columns, and uh, here, this is the DPC image, and uh, you can see in the DPC image, except the gallium columns, there is a small dot, like a small tail near here, near the gallium columns. So those spots are nitrogen columns. I also would like to mention that uh, the DPC contrast is subjected to a lot of uh, factors. Sometimes we can apply a high pass filter to suppress uh, those unwanted contrast so we click this high pass and now we can see the contrast is uh, much more uniform and uh, now we get clear gallium columns and the nitrogen columns showing up here so this is how you get a high resolution DPC image to image the light elements. Um, if you have a question or a comment, please leave a message under this video. And if you are a MC Square user, please send me an email. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.